what even was this? I know we say that a lot in for some movies, but seriously, what was this? I have no idea. Um, I thought it was slow and dull up until the ending, where it got really insane, and I kind of loved the ending. No, so uh, we are reviewing the 2006 uh, Nicolas Cage movie, The Wicker Man, which has been panned by many, but people consider it a cult classic, a so bad is good movie, might you add. Yeah, it definitely is that towards the ending. Like, it yeah. becomes that when there's like 30 minutes left, it gets insane at the end. Yeah, like so if you don't know what the movie is about, basically it's a, a, a reboot from a 1970s version uh, following, oh, a, yeah, following a, a police officer who goes to this um, mysterious island that's ran by a strange cult to, in order to uh, find a missing child. I think the original movie had a different uh, main plot, but I, I'm pretty sure. Well, in this I, version, I never, uh, in this version, I never in this version, he's looking for a young child. Yeah. Anyways, I've never seen the original. Um, I do think we should review the original, because I've heard the original is a really good horror movie. Yeah, I, I might check it out uh, so, so, sometime this summer, just to see what it's like. Yeah, I agree. So, well, let's see. What can we say about uh, this movie? That uh, Well, I mean, the, we're probably going to repeat a lot of stuff that may, some other people might have said. Yeah, um, this is coming out after the movie Cocaine Bear released, so we got some Cocaine Bear jokes while we were yes, watching uh, the movie. For, for those who are at least familiar with this movie, you would probably know a familiar scene that is beloved by many of Nicolas Cage in a bear suit. Punching a woman. Punching a woman. <laughs> which, uh, I'm still, I, which you just can't help but chuckle at, you know? Yeah. Um. Yeah, we, 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 it's an iconic scene. Um, there's so many iconic scenes towards the ending. Um, I still think the uh, very famous line um, of Nicolas Cage's is what starts the movie getting better. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, we, um, yeah. And uh, this movie attempts to be scary, and I give it props for attempting, but it's not that great, to be honest. It's not scary. I think the original actually is scary, which is yeah. probably why some people hate it. I, mm-hmm. I think that's the problem. Like, I'm sure there are like tons of fans of the original Wicker Man who, I who, um, really hate this movie because it wasn't scary. It wasn't didn't have a lot of the same uh, stuff. Um, and that is hard with remakes. Um, re- what you need to do with a remake is you need to have um, you want you want to keep some things similar, but you also want to make some things very different, so you can give your own interpretation. Mm-hmm. And now, do and very rarely do uh, um, remakes uh, live up to uh, the hype. Some do, uh, yeah, yeah, but very few times though. Yeah, very few. Um, and I do give props uh, when a um, remake does something different with the source material. Um, and does um. Does a does a um, I'm blanking on the word um, and does something like look at it from a different perspective. Um, so yeah, I, I'll acknowledge those ones did a good job. They're just weren't as good as the original, and that's not the case here. Right. Uh, at least from my understanding. Um, right, and very I, rarely is the case so when when things are when a remake is better than yeah. the original. Yeah, but but still, but will what I'm tr- trying to get at is um. The uh, Little Mermaid, the recent Little Mermaid, that, that's an example. We right. both agree that movie was good, but we also agree that it's not as good as the original. Right. And, but we still admire uh, the remake. Yep. I will go as far as say I'm not going to say Little Mermaid is uh, the original is like a masterpiece or anything. Oh, no, but no, I still no. really liked it. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Now, um, another thing I, I think we both noticed was how weird the editing was uh, and this is yeah. somebody this is somebody who uh, did some work in editing with a local tv station and i can attest that it feels like there's a ton that was left out hey, you're better at the editing than i am um i mean you edited that short horror film we made all those years ago uh, oh yeah <laughs> um 
No, but even when I watch a uh, uh, movie, um, I try to see, like, you know, how well it's, like, all put together. Mm-hmm. And even if the editing is off, then, I don't know, that just feels like it would, uh... Yeah, even story beats, like, there are some weird story beats just thrown in randomly. Mm-hmm. Um, those two talking sisters, um, you're speaking unison, they, uh, you feel like they're going to play a bigger role, but they don't. They were in, like, what, three scenes total? Yeah. Uh, Chekhov's gun doesn't even go off. I mean, it does. It just turns out it wasn't someone unloaded. I don't think, um, that character even had time to unload the gun. Right. I I don't know when she would have done it. it. So, point is, this was a bad movie, but. No, but uh, I think we had a fairly good time with this one. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I had a f- Up until the climax, I-, I felt like the first like hour or so was very boring, very dull. I was not getting into it. Yeah. Um. um but yeah, it-, it is that climax. Also, yeah. the important scene, the B scene. We you gotta discuss that. Yeah. So uh, we were watching this, and uh, there's two versions of this movie. There's the uncut version, which features quite possibly another famous uh, scene where Nicolas Cage is screaming at the top of his lungs when he's being covered by bees. Um, so, yeah, this scene was, um, it's probably the most memorable scene in the movie. And right. it's not in the theatrical cut. No, surprisingly. Like, uh, instead, we have to, like, listen to Nicolas Cage's character being tortured uh, through... When we realized we had the theatrical cut, we literally went to YouTube and found the B scene so we could watch it for ourselves and just make sure we could cover it. Now we are satisfied and we can cover this movie now. Well, I also want to point out, the CGI on the Beast is bad. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah. Well, did they actually use CG on this? They, I think that's... The, they used some CG. Those bees were definitely CG. Okay. I think the rest of the movie was practical, but that scene was definitely CG. Right. Uh, also, so also we should explain they do set up early that Nicolas Cage's character is allergic to bees. Right, and which is uh, why they torture him with the bees. And I'm going to be honest, uh, I never could get behind Nicolas Cage's character throughout the whole thing. No, I love Nicolas Cage. He, he he is over the top when he in this movie too, but his character is just not smart. He's not smart. He's not very likable. Yeah. It's a good performance from him. Right, right. I love like, it. It's, it's just Cage not a good character. Doing, it's Nicolas Cage doing what he does best. Yeah. Just a good performance from character. Um, so, yeah. I think that, anything else? Um, Not that I'm uh, aware of. Uh, will this yeah. be a movie I see again? Maybe after a while. But yeah. uh, it wasn't that impressive, to be honest. Yeah. So, um, so, just so people know, this was supposed to be part of Nicolas Cage month, but we're recording this on the 1st of July. Uh, we yes. kind of got behind. We'll try to do some more, uh, like at least one or two more movies to f- uh, quickly to cover up uh, the missing ones. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it's just schedules are a little hectic. Um, I'm moving soon, and that's part of it. Yeah, and I uh, have been getting uh, situated with a summer job while I've been uh, doing a bunch of other things. I literally signed the lease this morning for this new place, which I will be definitely filming from there. All right. uh, So uh, we will see you for the next Nicolas Cage review, which will be National Treasure. Oh, yeah. I've got this on DVD. I'm going to use that. Which I admit I have a bit of a soft spot for. Yeah. All right. So until next time, how did I get burned? Not the bees! Not the bees!